guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. Today's topic is going to be the subject of who's in your circle. It's such a critical topic because who you spend the most time around is who is creating you. Whether you realize it or not, the people we surround ourselves by are influencing who we become, what we do, and what we accomplish. So the question on the table is, are the people around you pushing you further or bringing you back, holding you back? Are they motivating you to be a better version of yourself? Or are they keeping you content with who you are without any desire to grow and develop? Are the people around you holding you accountable to the things that you said you wanted to do? Or are they content just letting you just live? So with that being said, I wanted to talk about this subject because I've realized that the people around me are the reason that I'm achieving the goals that I've set for myself. I talked about it in the blog, uh, Accountability is Key. And I really hope that you are able to get into that conversation. But more importantly, I hope that you are able to have an accountability partner in your life. It's so critical to make sure that someone's checking in on you. Someone's asking you the hard questions and someone's challenging you to be better. Really and truly. You're not always going to like the feedback that you receive. But if you're only receiving positive feedback or if you're only receiving negative feedback, that may not be the relationship that you need. And it doesn't just involve romantic relationships. It also involves your friendships, your family relationships, your work relationships. It involves every piece of the puzzle of the people that you're interacting with on a daily basis. So who is in your circle? What you expect of people in your circle and what you give to the people in your circle. If someone is who you're very close to is constantly pulling from you, constantly taking from you, constantly draining you. You have to evaluate how much time you have available to that person because energy is transferable. So if you're always negative Nancy's and if you're always a Debbie Downer or whatever the case and something's always wrong and you're always upset and you're always feeling frustrated with life but not doing anything about it, I have to be careful about what kind of energy I'm allowing into my space. And we all have to be conscious about that energy. I remember in the mid part of last year, I kind of went through a cleanse and I evaluated who was in my circle. If you weren't currently benefiting my life, I had to part ways. I had to learn how to burn bridges even when it felt difficult to do so. And I got a lot of pushback. Like, we've been friends all these years, and how are you just going to walk away from my friendship? Well, this friendship is not benefiting me, and it hasn't for a very long time. So from that perspective, I have to love you from a distance, point blank, period. I cannot continue to engage and to share energy with someone who's not aligned with my purpose. I had to let go of past dating relationships because that's not where I'm at at this point. I had to let go of unproductive friendships. I had to distance myself from certain people who maybe I can't burn the bridge because that's just not healthy, but I had to place safe boundaries around that because really and truly, I know my time and my energy is sacred. And I protect that at all costs. And I'm challenging you guys to do that for yourself. You have to be able to say, you benefit me. You drain me. You are a dangerous situation. And I need to, and I need you guys to be able to have those courageous conversations and being able to share with one another, listen, this isn't working for me. That's it. That's all. Your purpose is not worth an inconsistent friendship, a stagnant relationship. It's not worth it. You have a purpose for your life, and I pray that you have discovered that purpose. If not, there's a Motivational Monday for that too. But if you have not discovered your purpose, that's definitely step one. But once you know what your purpose in this life is, you have to go after it 
aggressively and you have to give your absolute all towards bettering yourself and working towards that purpose. People who waste your time, people who drain your energy, and people who have nothing positive to say are not worth that mental space. It's a really difficult reality to accept, but I need you guys to be careful of one thing as well. You cannot have yes men in your life also. Because if you have someone who's only telling you, oh, you did great. Oh, you did amazing. Oh, that was an amazing idea. Knowing full blown well, it's an awful idea. Those are not the people you want in your circle either. Really and truly. And I'm going to be honest with you. If you want a yes man, don't ask me a question. Point blank period. I'm going to tell you the truth. Good, bad, and ugly. I'm going to tell you the truth if you ask me. That's it. That's all. But those are the kind of people that you need in your circle as well. Because those are the people who are going to tell you, hey, you're being too hard on yourself. Hey, you're slacking. You did great. So when you have someone who you know is going to tell you the truth no matter what, the positive truth feels a little bit better. But if you're always telling me something great, I really question how true is your positive feedback. So I'm saying this to say, the more often we all start to embrace the truth and not only embrace the truth of ourselves, but giving the truth to those around us, that's when we get into a place of growth. That's when we get into a place of productivity because we have people in our circle who are pushing us forward. They're shining in their perspective areas and it draws you in that direction, really and truly. When I think about my circle, I have doctors, lawyers, authors, um, business owners, development coaches, mentors, financial specialists. I have people in my circle who are doing big things, really and truly. And it forces me to stay on top of that because I'm constantly saying, how can I get better? How can I drive further? And the next time this person calls and asks to check in on what's going on in my life, I want to have a positive update for them. I want to be able to say, these are the things that are going well. This is what I'm struggling with. This is what I need. This is what I'm working towards. You have to be able to have a positive conversation. And every time you talk about those things, you want it to be a different conversation. You don't want to keep saying, this is what I'm working on, but I'm not making any progress on it. When we talked about it last month, what have you done since then? Seriously. And don't waste other people's energy. If you do not put the energy behind something, if you have this grand idea and you're not willing to put that energy behind it, don't talk about it. Because at this point, you're wasting my time. And I don't have time to waste. Honestly and truly. So if you constantly are this person who has all these grand ideas but never putting any action behind it, just stop talking for a while. Let your actions start to speak for you. Really and truly. For, for me, I'm very big on that. Like, I will not speak of something that I know for sure, unless I know for sure that it's going to happen, really and truly. I have all of billions of grand ideas, and there's probably only one person who will be privy to these, these grand ideas before they're um, guaranteed, but that's my life accountability partner, and she helps me think through things and helps me evaluate Yes, I can do this. Mm, that may not be right now, you know, and we have those kind of honest conversations. But beyond this one person who is my life accountability partner, I will not put things into the atmosphere unless I've already began to make progress in that area. And it's already something that's in the works. So with that being said, I want you guys to do me a favor. And this really isn't even a favor for me. It's a favor for you. I want you to think about everyone who you spend time with, who you're close with, who you talk to frequently. I want you to evaluate what it is that is a benefit of that relationship. If you cannot think of at least five benefits to that relationship, you really need to evaluate 
how much energy you're willing to provide to that relationship and whether it needs to be a part of your life in general. It will change your life having the right people around you and having the right accountability partners in your life. If you do not have an accountability partner, I will be your accountability partner. I offer a development coaching program for that very reason. We all have goals and we're fresh into the new year. New year, new me is nothing without accountability and progress. Let me help you reach your goals by allowing me to hold you accountable. I challenge you to schedule your free consultation so we can get this process started. You can visit my website, nicolesnetwork.net. And on there, if you click on the link for a free consultation, you can schedule your time to speak with me about your goals. And it's a free consultation, okay? And then we can talk about what program works best for you. With that being said, I am so anxious to hear your thoughts. Who's in your circle? Do you need to adjust your circle? And do you need to set boundaries so that the right people have the right spaces in your life? Write in that comments, okay, guys? See ya.